Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new product review on Schulz Inside. In times of climate change and global warming, the topic of sustainability becomes more and more important. Renewable energy, but also energy efficient technologies are essential to save our environment. As a family owned company, Kasper Schulz had to take sustainable decisions for over 10 generations. But also our technology early on was focused on this value in particular. Not only to build equipment that has the best durability, but also to invent new technologies that are as eco-friendly and energy efficient as possible are key features of Schulz. This time I want to show you our latest, along with well-established Schulz innovations when it comes to sustainable and energy efficient brew house technologies. This year we celebrate 20 years of our groundbreaking Schoko system. Reason enough to take a closer look into this innovation first. To point out what the Shoku is capable of, let me explain to you reasons for boiling wort in general. First, we want to isomerize the hops to bring bitterness to beer. Second, we want to denaturize our proteins to minimize coagulable nitrogen within the knockout wort. Third, we want to evaporate unpleasant substances like DMS during boiling. And last but not least, we want to sterilize our wort so all bacteria are inactivated before we pitch yeast and to get a clean fermentation in the end. To achieve all of this, the traditional way of boiling wort in the kettle has been to put a massive amount of energy into the process, evaporating up to 10% or even more. Even with energy recovery from steam and wort generated through this massive boiling process, consumption of primary energy still is huge. In addition, the hot water generated by that recovery would often be too much to handle in a classic brewery setup. So Schulz came into play investigating ways and methods to solve this problem, saving energy but maintaining quality in brewing at the same time. The result was published first in 2001 and was developed continuously over the years. The Schulz Schoko system. Schoko therefore is a shortcut for the German word of Schonkochen, which means gentle boiling. This technology splits up the classic word boiling process into two separate parts. The first half remains the traditional boiling process but only simmering with little energy demand inside the kettle over here. Evaporation rates are in general ranging between 0 to 4%, but mostly are below or around 1%, saving massive amounts of primary energy. The evaporation of most of the unpleasant substances, like DMS, is realized by our Schulz word spreader. This neatly designed device is fully adjustable to generate three to four circulations of the whole word volume during one hour of boiling. After that, the word is sent to the whirlpool. For the second stage of the word boiling process, we send our word between whirlpool and word cooler over the Shoko evaporation system over here. Inside this eye-catching device we generate a certain vacuum to lower the evaporation temperature of wort to around 65 degrees Celsius and let the wort flow down as a thin layer. Therefore, we achieve an evaporation rate of about 3.8% over the whole Schoko wort boiling process, resulting in minimal DMS concentrations as in a cool ship effect. Also thermal stress 
on the word is reduced, resulting in perfectly stable beers overall. It has been shown that even higher evaporation temperatures of about 80 degrees Celsius inside the Schoko lead to sufficient DMS reductions as well. Of course, on the one hand, this reduces the energy consumption even more, but on the other hand, also hot water production is minimized, which is often desired in many breweries. All in all, the Schoko is still the perfect tool when it comes to energy efficiency and word quality in the brew house. In times of sustainability awareness, this can have a great impact to reduce emission footprints of breweries even more. At the same time, the Schoko is a well-established system, which is involved in the production of numerous award-winning beers and breweries. It is suitable for breweries with 30,000 hectoliters or more per year, but all smaller breweries can be supplied with our alternative post-evaporation system. Here we are able to achieve the same effect described, but without any vacuum needed. So if you are interested, just get in contact with us for more information. Another innovation that I want to show you today is our X-Loop. This system is designed to directly transfer energy from word after boiling to the next batch inside the pre-run vessel, just before boiling. This energy transfer has often been realized over an energy buffer tank and several heat exchangers. In comparison to that, with our new system, we directly transfer energy, which rises the efficiency level and also saves massively on equipment necessary for the process. So for example, a separate buffer tank with all the accessories and piping isn't needed. This could be from interest, especially if you want to upgrade an existing brew house like here and are short of space. The X-Loop therefore is perfect for all brew houses with a pre-run vessel and multi-batches brew days on a regular basis. So that's it for today. Thumbs up if you like our effort in developing the most sustainable brew house technologies. More information is always online on our blog and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you have more questions, just leave us a comment or contact us directly. Thanks for watching. See you next time and bye bye.